The House just back in session, Speaker Mike Johnson trying to avoid questions about Marjorie Taylor Greene. Speaker Johnson, have you talked to Marjorie Taylor Greene about motion to vacate threats? Speaker Johnson, have you spoken to Marjorie Taylor Greene about motions to oust? Took 22 seconds there for him to eventually uh, decide he would answer the question, no. So far, the Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene has not forced a vote, but one of her top aides vows that it is only a matter of time, telling Politico, quote, anyone who is saying she is backing down or high, drunk, or simply out of their mind. Is high, drunk, or simply out of their mind, I'm sorry. And Greene herself, warning just yesterday, quote, his days as speaker are numbered. Manu Raju is out front on Capitol Hill, Manu, so they're back, and and as they return, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene returns with this threat. Now, you have just had a chance, as everyone's coming back in, to speak to a number of Republicans. What do they think Greene is going to do? Well, it's actually unclear. And, of course, she can call for this vote, essentially at any time, because any one member of the House could do just that. And right now she has three Republicans who are voting, uh, supporting her effort. And one of those Republicans I just caught up with, Thomas Massey, who wants Mike Johnson out of the job. I asked him, are, have you decided when you're going to move forward with this vote? He said, quote, undecided. And so that means that this threat continues to hover over Mike Johnson. Also, the question is how many Republicans will ultimately support this, is whether they've gotten backlash back home, or whether people are calling for his ouster in the aftermath of the vote to fund Ukraine as part of a larger foreign aid package, and after the members have been back home for a week talking to their constituents. But I just talked to several Republican hardliners in particular who made it clear that they oppose the effort to push out the speaker. That's wrong. It weakens the party. It weakens Congress. They're pissed off. They feel like they don't get represented up here. Mm -hmm. And are you ready to throw out the speaker? No. No. Why is that? For a bunch of different reasons, mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's not a good time. Yeah, it, it, the timing. You know, there's obviously frustration with what happened. Do you oppose the motion of victory? Hollywood, again, we, we, I oppose it with Kevin. I think right now we need to just do our job. And those last two comments coming from some of the loudest critics of some of Mike Johnson's deal-making with Democrats to keep the government open and to fund the war in Ukraine. Chip Roy, the last one, Eli Crane, one of the eight Republicans who voted to oust Kevin McCarthy in the fall, the, that historic vote to kick out the House Speaker, making clear very much they do not agree with Marjorie Taylor Greene's effort going ahead. But the big question, Aaron, still remains, what do Democrats do? Because ultimately, if Marjorie Taylor Greene does move forward, it would require Democrats essentially to keep him in the speakership and if they do that, how long will he be able to sustain the speakership with the support of Democrats? All huge questions for the yeah. speaker at this moment. Absolutely. Yeah. And if he thought that uh, absence would uh, make the heart grow fonder, um, certainly not. All right. Thank you very much, Manu. Out front now, former Republican Congressman Ken Buck. I will remind all of you, he was one of the eight Republicans who voted to remove then-Speaker Kevin McCarthy, but he opposes these efforts to oust Speaker Johnson. So, Congressman, you and I were talking the other day, and at the time, you said you were confident that Green's bid to get rid of Johnson would fail. Now, you just, they're all coming back in, right? You heard Speaker Johnson finally say he has not spoken to her uh, and you hear three of your former Republican colleagues say now is not the time to remove him, right? But but her office just says it's a matter of time. She's going to do it. She's vowing to do it. Uh, you know, what do you say to her at this point? Well, the, the reason that she is vowing to do it is she gets a lot of attention. She's had this motion now, I believe, for six weeks and, and has not made it a privileged motion, which would require a vote. So uh, as long as she continues to get the attention, she's going to continue to threaten this motion. As soon as she um, uh, makes the motion privileged and the House votes on the motion, she will no longer be getting the attention because Mike Johnson will be in the speakership and, and her threat is, is an empty threat. You know, your views of Green, obviously, you have not minced words about it, um, you know, of seeing her as deeply unserious. You know, you called her Moscow Marjorie. Of course, that that went viral and viral in, in Russia as well. Uh, but one of your former Democratic colleagues, Jared Moskowitz, is promising that Democrats will do whatever it takes to make sure Green loses this fight. So Democrats are the ones to come in and save Johnson. Here's Moskowitz. The idea of letting her sit in the people's house, in the well of Congress, giving a speech, removing any speaker, and having that powerful moment. There is just no way 
Democrats are going to let her do that. I'm not going to let her do that. We won't even let her name a post office. We're not going to let her. We're not going to let her take out the speaker. So, knowing that Democrats may be the ones to save Johnson, uh, you know what is what does that do to this scenario, right? If it's Democrats who have to save him. Well, at a time when this country is uh, highly polarized, when when one side is un. Uh, feels threatened by the other's uh, presidential candidate um, and, and vice versa. When, when we are looking at a divided country, Mike Johnson did the right thing. He did the right thing for history. He brought the Ukraine bill to the floor. Overwhelming Democrats support. Almost a majority of Republicans uh, supported it. I don't think the American people want to punish Mike Johnson. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, politics is downstream from public opinion. And I think he will be saved uh, by the Democrats. But I don't think there will be a backlash with Republicans as a result. So uh, the former President Trump has praised Johnson. He's also praised Marjorie Taylor Greene. Um, do you think he's enjoying this this fight and this, you know, sort of embarrassment playing out? Or do you think he'll eventually be clear on where he stands? I, I think the president um, doesn't want this to happen, but he doesn't want to be the one to make the call for it not to happen. If he takes Marjorie's side and it fails, he looks bad. If he takes Mike Johnson's side and there's a backlash, he looks bad. Uh, he has a lot of things on his mind right now, and I don't think he's going to focus on this. But any distraction uh, that, that happens, if there is a three-week effort to uh, name another speaker, uh, it takes away from his message uh, regarding President Biden. So I don't think he wants this to happen. All right. Congressman Buck, thank you very much. I appreciate it.